Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, this is what we got today. We got the DJI Ronin S and uh, we are going to talk about the DJI Ronin S. Put your camera out here as you can see right now just put your camera like this mount yes. it i do have another gimbals but this is how you set so at first um, make sure that your lens is not falling back so lock this position out here as you can see this position lock it and you will see it's not balanced right so bring it back to the position out here here and uh, should be balanced right but uh, let's check this roll check this roll okay and uh, this thing okay so more or less it's balanced right now and this is what you're going yes, to do so put a joystick in it and uh, I'll put the joystick right out here your droniness is more or less balanced there are different modes on it there is mode 1 mode 2 and mode 3 so the mode 1 is actually a follow mode where it follows like this so it will follow wherever you go wherever you turn the thing is that this is more or less a follow mode so you can actually double tap this one you can actually tap this one and change orientation and you can lock the pitch of it otherwise it remains more or less like this and you can turn around uh, the rodiness to do creative shots second mode uh, will change this this is a mode uh, you can double tap this again double tap this and the gimbal will come back to its original location after that hold on to this and you can do flashlight mode as you can see right now you can actually bring your joystick and this is your flashlight mode in flashlight mode you can actually do shots like this
where you can ban shots like this. So this is a very very interesting mode and uh, and I think the flashlight mode actually brings another uh, living in an inverted mode and stuff like that sometimes what happens is that the motor comes in so you can actually deactivate the motor just by simply double tapping this the motor will deactivate very soon you can see the motor is deactivated now what you can do is that you can actually go and uh, you can actually turn this like this and you can activate the motor by double tapping it again and the motor will get activated the motor is activated right now so you can actually do sh low angle shots like this with the motor completely activated you can actually go like this you know like and uh, do activated shots with an inverted mode the cool thing about this is that when you press this button again you can actually bring it back so watch this so you can actually bring this thing back to its normal position Uh, whole gimbal runniness is that you can do a one hand operation and run run with it and you can actually track your subject like this or what i find is the two-handed operation you can actually hold down this menu and you can go to a full sport mode so this is the full sport mode where it does not activate and follows your movement so you can actually go like this and keep on swinging the way it is so that's the full full on kind of activated mode and you can keep on doing this like uh, and uh, do swings like this for a long time when you leave this the motor actually comes back to its original position so you bring this down and now you can go in a full on 360 so the how fast you move your joystick is how fast this thing moves so you can keep on going in a straight line and go on a full on 360 full on 360 and uh, that's it let's uh, roll and let's see what else we can do so take care have a nice night and see you again later in the channel